Jesus, you're welcome to church this morning. It's another Thanksgiving service. Can you give a neighbor a smile, a woman's smile? Say, welcome to church. Give your neighbor a warming smile. Now rise up majestically on your feet as we worship the King of glory. Hallelujah. Raise your hands up and begin to bless and magnify the name of the Lord. Because our God is a good God. He's worthy of all our praise. He's worthy to be lifted high. He's worthy to be exalted. It's been God all the way. If not for his mercies, if not for his loving kindness, what would have been said of us? It's because of him that you and I are here standing this morning. Why not just raise your hands and begin to bless and magnify the name of the Lord. Let's worship flow from your inside this morning. And as they say, if you can think, you will think. So think fact of all the goodness of God in your life. Think of all his faithfulness. If by adventure you feel like God has even done enough for you, think about the works of his hands. Think about the magnificence of his hands. Just bless and adore the name of the Lord. Worship him this morning. Worship him this morning. Praise him, magnify him. It's the eighth month of the year. It's been good, it's been good.
ready to praise God this morning. Hallelujah.
Yeah. 
Church, let's stretch forth our hands to these children. Please, let's pray passionately for them. This is our tomorrow. Let's thank the Lord for their lives. Let's appreciate God for what the Lord is doing in their life. Let's say we thank you, Lord, for keeping our children. Father, we thank you for watching over them. Let's thank the Lord for where the Lord has positioned them. Let's thank the Lord for their future. Because we know, we are sure that their future is secure in the Lord. Let's say, Lord, we thank you because we know that their tomorrow shall be all right. Let's thank the Lord because we know their forehead shall be stronger than that of their enemies. Let's thank the Lord because we know that the blood of Jesus will answer for this one in this land. Let's begin to decree good things upon their life. Since the children that you have given me, they are for signs and they are for wonders. Let's pray that the signs of the Lord the wonders of the Lord, the greatness of the Lord. We follow this one all the days of their lives. In the name of Jesus, let's cover them with the blood of Jesus. Let's cover the holiday, the remaining part of the holiday with the blood of Jesus, that none of them will die in the name of Jesus. They will not be involved in any form of accident, that the Lord will fight for them all the days of their lives. In the name of Jesus, let's pray for blessings of the Lord over this one for mercies of the Lord over this one, that wherever they go, the mercy of the Lord will speak for them. Favor of the Lord will speak for them in the name of Jesus, that this one will be a blessing to their generation. They will be a blessing to the church of God. They will be a blessing to the nation of Canada. In the name of Jesus, that they will be a terror to the kingdom of darkness all the days of their lives, that they will dwell in the presence of the Most High God. Let's cover them with the blood of Jesus. Even the children that are not here, let's cover them with the blood of Jesus that we will not suffer any loss in the name of Jesus. It shall be well with them. It shall be well with their teachers. It shall be well with everything that concerns this one. All the days of their life, it shall be blessing galore in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise for our children. We give you all the honor. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. Father, we ask, O oh Lord, that their future, Father, we shall permanently seal in you in Jesus' name. Their destiny will not be destroyed by the enemy in the name of Jesus. They will move from glory to glory, from grace to grace. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So let, let the youth church be getting ready. The youth church. Have the youth church. It's time for your Thanksgiving. The youth church.
going out they are blessed in they are coming in they are blessed that the Lord will protect them the Lord will guide them that the Lord will guide their heart from every vice of the enemy that his light will finally shine on their path that they will not be deceived in the contrary spirit this one that the Lord will surround out with, their, with his fire in the name of Jesus. The Lord will protect them. The Lord will help them. Let's help them to stand strong in the name of Jesus against every evil thought. Father, help this one to stand strong in the name of Jesus. Let's pray for their future. The Lord will help their future. The Lord will secure their future in the name of Jesus. That the enemy will not rejoice over this one. The enemy will not take away any of this one. In the name of Jesus. That they will please their ways. We please the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father we thank you for these ones. Thank you for our youth. Thank you for how far you have left them. Let's pray for the academics. That the Lord will make them to be the head and never the tail. In the name of Jesus. That the Lord will make his light to shine through them. In the name of Jesus. That there will be a light unto the world. A salt unto the world all the days of their lives. Let's cover them with the blood of Jesus. Let's cover their future with the blood of Jesus. That's very important, church. We cover the future of this one with the blood of Jesus. Your future will not be destroyed by the enemy in the name of Jesus. The Lord will hold you by his right hands of righteousness. You will walk before the Lord. You will be successful all the days of your life. In your academics, you will be successful. The Lord will bless you. He will bless you all round about. In the name of God the Father. God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. The Lord is telling me to tell you, do not be anxious for anything. I beg you, brethren, leave every anxiety and just thank the Lord, and you will see what the Lord will do. Tell your neighbor, it is my time to thank the Lord. You people don't believe it is my time. It is my time to thank the Lord. So please dance before. It's not about the money. It's just about your attitude. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. And you will see what the Lord will do.
The message of the Lord will abide with you forever. As we have danced this morning, only sound of rejoicing will be heard in your homes. I decree this morning you will keep dancing. You will keep celebrating. You will keep rejoicing in the name of Jesus. It's time for special thanksgiving. You see, we cannot be tired of giving thanks. So for us, that the Lord has done something good, that have experienced the blessings of the Lord. Like this thing, it's time for special thanksgiving. Let's do that.
you ever 